Hey guys, this is Snipe again, and uh, made a few changes. Had some excess lava after finishing up the uh, storage room, so I put it to use. And uh, grand reveal here. Made quite a few changes around. Uh, that's the floor of the storage room up there and the ceiling of this room. Really like how it looks. Gives enough light to prevent mob spawning. And, you know, of course, looks awesome. Uh, the mushrooms seem to be spreading considerably faster with that lighting around here. So, without further ado, the storage room. And, uh, in my opinion, this is pretty awesome. And, uh, most of these chests are empty, but I've already begun the jumbled, nonsensical not organized way that I usually operate with chests, so at some point I might try to remedy that, but for now I'll just keep everything wherever. Looks pretty awesome. The ceiling's a bit dull. I might do something eventually. Um, the lava on the edges here is flowing. There's actually only lava because there's only lava every other. So like there's one here, 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 and here. And then, you know, here, 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 etc. And it just leveled uh, when it when all the lava finished flowing and went out not just ended up that the borders were flowing and that looked kind of cool so I left it like that plus it only took me half the lava that it would to make it all still and it still took me quite a while to gather that uh, I think it's raining right now and it might be nighttime I'm gonna go check because I did some stuff yeah, it's definitely raining I can't tell if it's nighttime or not let's try sleeping but I did some work outside, and I wanted to show it off. So, yeah, it's not nighttime. So I'll just run out and hope there's nothing out there. The other time I uh, opened this door, a skeleton had spawned in that tiny empty space. It got shoved out and tried to kill me. But. As you can see here, finally got rid of this. It was needing to be gone for a while, but since I finished up the storage room, figured it was finally time to move on and took care of it. I think eventually my farm, like farm animal farm, is going to go there. And then I also leveled out this little bit. I think I'm going to put one of 777 static 777 you know I'll just call him static but one of his uh, smurfs which is a great way to get seeds and flowers which I, I could use I don't need the seeds so much but it could be nice to have some flowers around for dyes and stuff like that um, put a vine up there mostly I don't know. I figure I might need a way to farm, or at least get a few more vines than I currently have. So, it's interesting actually how they kind of spread. Because I actually only put it on one face of that, and it's spread, as you can see, to three. Maybe the other side is covered as well. Yeah, so it's spread to all four faces of that, but I only put it on one of them. Uh, I also harvested a ton of wood. I've got six stacks in my house now. And I think that's going to be for when we finally do the farm animal farm. Whenever that happens. But now I'm a lot more prepared for it. Um, I think that's about all the changes that have really gone on. But today, what I wanted to work on was a melon farm. I realize I've already got some, but I was thinking a little bit larger of a scale. I uh, don't have a safe drop down there yet. Here we are. But I dug out this room. It's going to be in here. 
And I told you guys earlier I got an idea from the gyms. And uh, basically, the melons are all going to be recessed in these walls, and there's going to be a minecart track that goes along. And probably in the center for some pumpkins as well. And then the pistons push them out so that I can collect them just riding by on a minecart. So it's a really fast collection. And since you no longer have to till the soil, I have to be getting lots and lots of watermelons and pumpkins out of it very, very rapidly. So that's, that's exciting. Um, yeah, the wiring's going to be a bit of a mess, but... A bunch of random stuff in my inventory. But I'm gonna get mining this away so I can work a little bit more on how this is going to actually work. Um, so the stem will be like right there, or in this case, right here. Then the melon or pumpkin itself will grow on this block, and then there will be a piston right there. Let me get a new pick really quick. That was not a pick. Okay. Piston will be right there and it pushes it forward so it's all right up there next right for me to collect in the mine card as I go by. And that'll be mirrored on both sides I think. So I'll get lots of melons. Um, yeah, I don't need this. Yeah, so I'll have, you know, stem here, stem here, stem here, here and here. And they'll grow out there and there and there and there. And then as I ride past in the minecart, I gather them all up. And I might have a chest in the center or something, or I might just go up to my storage room. Uh, I'm going to eventually dig this down and work on a strip mine down there, because I don't have very many resources. And that's a good, fast, pretty easy way to get some. So I'm going to dig this out, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is just a quick kind of proof of concept here. So when these grow, they'll go to those dirt blocks, and then... Let me test. Uh, should just be able... Yeah, I should just be able to put this here. Yeah. Then those all get pushed out, so I'll push them right up to the limit here. And I'll be able to grab them. Let me see if I can get this torch back. Yes. So I'll just throw a few items down to simulate watermelons. Pretty brown watermelons. Then when this is pressed, and I ride a minecart along here, gather them all. And it'd be the same along here as well. And I made sure they had an airspace, because it seemed like they grew better when they did before, and plenty of light. Found to use for jack-o'-lanterns, finally. Um, yeah. So it's going to be like that, at least all along the border, probably on the inside as well. Maybe on the inside I'll do pumpkins, instead of watermelons. But, that's the general idea. Now, I don't really have enough iron to make all the pistons, so I'm going to get down and started on a strip mine and that should get me enough materials to make pistons and do all that sort of stuff. Um, another thing you might have noticed that changed is my level. So that level 15, 16 end of last episode. Well, I was not paying attention very well watching a YouTube video and I think I ran straight into the lava of my house. Just kind of jumping around, screwing around. Yeah pretty sure that's what happened, but I looked and I was in lava and dead. And I was like, oh, dang it. And it was depressing. But I'm getting my levels back slowly. Once I have them all up to something decent, I'll enchant something. And until then, <laughs> I'll just keep working at it. But, uh,. So far, <laughs> I've not had a whole lot of luck with hanging onto levels and enchanting stuff. Uh, 
Let's sleep really quick and then check the mushroom farm. After depositing some items up in the chest, the storage room. Because my inventory is completely full. Still love how this looks. Um, yeah, that looks good. Sure. Yeah, don't need any of that. That looks good. Alright. And then, as you can see, my quick drops are not working very well. So I think I might have to put a ladder stop at every every station. But eventually I think I'm just going to replace that all with uh, more simple quick drops and a big piston elevator. So I don't know how long it will stay that way. And I'm probably not going to invest much time in making it really nice until I have a reason to. Which, if everything goes according to plan, I never will. So, let's see how the mushroom farm did. Spot for red, spot for brown. Nope, oh, there's a brown one. Three brown. No red. It's a little disappointing because the red ones are the ones I need more. But uh, now that I've got them at all, really, I could just do a giant mushroom and harvest away what I don't need. Harvest away the giant mushroom and it gives me, you know, mushrooms of whatever type it is. Uh, really, no, no red at all. That's just a little bit depressing. <sighs> this is not a super awesome design. I'm going to have to revise it if I end up using it at all. Just waiting for that dirt block to get down here. Yeah, That means any red mushrooms by now would have flown down. Uh, not flown. Flowed. That's the word I was looking for. But I guess there weren't any. So that was an impressive haul. I feel like throwing these into the lava, but instead I'll just throw them into my mob farm. Come on. As you can see, I'm there we go. No, so close. Anyway, as you can see, I'm not very good at this. Don't do it much. Yeah. And I will let them disappear. Um, so I'm going to work on that strip mine, and I might show you some brief updates from it. Otherwise, I'll just skip back to me working at the melon farm, because strip mining is not terribly interesting. Okay, so I'm back to work on melon farm. Uh, I went caving, not caving, uh, strip mining for a while. So, right now, I'm digging out a way place really for the wiring to go. Alright, that's the last one. And I don't like to put wiring on gravel or dirt because then Enderman can screw with it and even though this is too tall and will only be one tall when I'm finished, I don't want to risk it. One, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that is the absolute most I can run that wire. Uh, first one should be here. Okay. And a bit wasteful of repeaters, but fortunately they lined up perfectly, actually. So I just barely didn't have to do some weird wiring in the middle of that. The redstone wire reached just long enough. Um... Now for this one, I think one more. I don't have this pattern down very well yet. Okay. Yeah, so we've got a piston there. There. This one only has four, so this should be the last right here. Right. 
one, two, three, four. And just bring it up. Um, I'll do it here. There we go. So now, we just kind of box it all up. And cover it all up. Hopefully, I did it all right and we don't have to come back in here. I'm pretty sure I did it all right. But... about there all right now we can just cover that up and fill it in okay so you can see what progress I've made here um, Uh, there's also water behind each of these, as you could see there. Didn't want it spilling all out all over the floor. But, this outside layer is just about finished. Okay. Feel pretty good about that. Let's test and make sure it's working. It should be, but. You never know. So... <sighs> Let's see. The wiring... is gonna be... right past this? Yeah. Oh, dang it. Didn't work on any of this. No, wait, it is. Okay. <laughs> I was seeing it wrong. So this is all extended. You can see the water beneath there. And taking that away. Works. Beautiful. Uh, I'm going to replace these sticky pistons with normal pistons because there's no need to waste sticky pistons like that. Um, yeah, so the next thing I have to do is hook up some rails, and I found, while I was strip mining, I found a an abandoned mine shaft, so rails are not going to be a problem. I also found a little bit of gold so I can do some powered rails. Um, yeah, but what I'll do is I'll have a kind of station here with like some chests. And then I'll hop in a minecart, press a button, it'll push out all the pistons, and I'll ride around on the cart to collect all the melons. And once I've got them all, I end up back here, there'll be a detector rail or something to let it know. Well, actually, I could only... All I need to do, really, is pulse the pistons. Because once they pulse, then the items are right up along the edge anyway. They don't need to stay out while I ride around. So I detector rail or something as I drive by, ride by. It pulses the pistons. They all come out, push the melons. And then I can just ride around and collect them. And get off over here, and maybe like a button to send it back. I think that's how it's going to end up working. Yeah, so you can see we've already got melon growing there. So what I'm going to do is get a hoe and get all this ready for planting melons and I don't feel like I've really got enough room in the center but I don't know I might I might be able to fit if I do the center I'll do uh, pumpkins because I used all my pumpkins that I had spare for jack-o-lanterns because I need a lot and they provide as much light as glowstone even if they don't look as good so they're pretty useful. Um, yeah. Here we go. So I'll get that done. Uh, planting all the melons and stuff. Then I'll show more in depth 
the building process when I get the pumpkins planted. Okay, so I finished up uh, putting all the melons down. So you can see they're already growing. So I will soon have lots and lots of melons. And uh, I wanted to show you just the kind of general process for building uh, this kind of farm. So corners are a bit of a problem going on the inside at least since uh, the way the plants line up like I'll have a stock here, stock here, stock here, stock here and they will grow to only these three blocks so I will not get 100% efficiency but oh well need a little bit more dirt um, see so yeah, I'm gonna show really quick just kind of generally kind of build it and maybe one of these episodes I'll make it possible to actually use the fast drops but until then alright so let's see I've got it like there as well there not there Not there. Here we go. So that's where the actual plants and stuff will grow. Then we're going to need a piston behind each of them. Oh, that's another thing with the inside corners. You can't have a piston pushing one here and one over here. So. What I'm going to do is just get rid of these inside ones completely and only have these outside tracks. And that'll clear up a little bit of space, make it a little bit simpler. As for these corners, yeah, I'm just going to remove the corners entirely. Just to simplify it. Uh, and I don't have quite enough pistons. <sighs> I'll gather some more to finish this up, but I want to just kind of show you roughly how this works. Here we go. So you can see all those pistons. And uh, to show you how I power them. Come on. Here we go. So wire run along the top just like that. That's how it works behind the walls. It's all just covered up and looks neat in what I've already got built. But uh Yeah, we'll need. Oh man, we just can't have even this row here. So you need a piston there and then a piston immediately right here. So the inside row is really quite impractical. Uh, a little depressing, but... You know, it's still better than just leaving it empty. It's not wasted space at the very least. And I don't need very many pumpkins anyway, since I don't use them as often. Plus this way in here... I can have a nice little kind of chest area or something. Could put like here and here and here. But another part is uh, the water streams. So I'll do those really quick here. Uh, I'll just put that there. So what I'm going to have to do is just grab a little bit of water, making sure I don't trample it there. From under one of these. Replace the piston. And there, now I can have an infinite spring. I'll rip these up to put in the water. Here we go. Um, 
So yeah, this water, uh, what it does is keeps the land fertilized so that uh, the tilled soil doesn't go away. I don't know if the tilled soil would go away anyway since it's got a watermelon or pumpkin on it or whatever, but, you know, rather be safe than sorry again. Then the pistons go up, of course. You already know how those work. Then we'd run wire all around the top here. We'll plant pumpkins on these and let them grow here. And I'll put a uh, minecart rail all the way around so that we can actually use the farm as I intended. Uh, as for these corners, they're just kind of empty and stupid right now. So, I think for now I'll just do something like that and then maybe have like a light here. Yeah, it's nothing fancy, but it's better than it was before. And a light. Okay. And the track could start and end in here pretty easily. In fact, I think that's what I'll do when I put it all up. But I still need more pistons. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I need six more iron. Oh, perfect. Um, so yeah, I'll get those pistons made and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the pistons and I'm back. I'm just gonna install them here really quick. That is not where I want a piston. There we go. All the pistons are in. I'm gonna get the soil ready to be planted in. Then another thing I wanted to check. Well, we'll have to do eventually. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Beautiful. So there's just the perfect amount there. If uh, we power it from any side, we'll probably power it out of the ceiling or something. That actually seems the most practical right now. So. We'll get this redstone set up along the top here. There we go. And uh, as you can see, the water's making this soil ready, making it uh, wet, dark. Um, and then the pumpkin just grows here. You know, same principle as the watermelon. And once I get enough, I might put some jack lanterns in the ceiling above, but for now, I don't have like any pumpkins. So I've got a few jack lanterns, but I'd rather wait till I can do with them all. Um, I'm going to need some pumpkins for seeds. So. Oh, it's nighttime. I just know something. There's going to be a creeper waiting. Okay, I think you get four seeds from every pumpkin. And I should only need a 17 if I'm remembering correctly. So I've got plenty of pumpkins now. And I'll have plenty of seeds. Uh, the other thing I might need... Okay, I've got some bones for bone meal. Alright. So, this farm down here is just about finished, actually. It's pretty exciting. You can start using it soon. Of course, I'll still need to hook up the rails. Let's see. 12, 16. Yeah, let's see if that's enough. I hope it is, but I don't think so. 
Yeah, it's definitely not. We're one short. And I might have one in my storage room or something, but I'm a lazy person. So, 17, we're going to need uh, 15, 18. That'll do. Here we go. So now we can start growing pumpkins. Okay. Just throw that into there. So now these are going to start growing pumpkins right behind them. And I just need to hook up that redstone. So... I'm thinking the button to start the cart, I could just have it be here. And then that way, you know, when I go around and collect them, it also auto harvest these just because that would power. If the button goes here, this block gets powered, it powers all that redstone. The only thing then is to get that power across and into these or rather this redstone set up over here so my idea is that at the very end we could power a block with a redstone torch on it ah oh, there goes my ladder shoot I need that I'll have to be quick to make sure it doesn't despawn Hmm. Still thinking this through here. If I put redstone up there right now, it'd be powered. So. Here we go. No, it would not be powered. Gah, there goes another redstone. Um. Yeah, this is a bit of a mess. Okay. So. Yeah. Right now that's on. In the end it's going, I'm going to want it to be off. So. And I can't leave any of these blocks here gone because I need the ladders on them. I'm going to go down here and get this ladder so it doesn't despawn. Alright, I figured out the wiring. There's a trick where you can place redstone on pumpkins. Uh, you basically just try to set it on the wall behind it. Uh, with an update, this might be broken. And I'll have to find a workaround then, but for now, this works. Uh, like, for instance, before uh, 1.0, maybe even before 1.8.1, if you put redstone on glowstone and then you used it after the update, the block it would update the block and then be like, oh, I can't be on here and pop off. So that might happen in a future update. For now, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, so I've got this torch here, which is directly above the torch that's on. So that's powered, so it's off. Then I can do this. There we go. And that should all be working now. And, you know, we end up with a block here, which doesn't look awesome, but I'm okay with it. And then with a button right here. I'm going to test this and make sure it works. Let me put my ladders back here really quick. All the blocks, everything that has grown so far should be popped out, and that's quite a bit of melon, so... Well, that sounded good. Then when I ride around on the cart, pick it all up. That's a lot of melon. I will not be needing to use this very often, I don't think. Yeah, three stacks of melon and five pumpkins. So I might replace... Huh, that's interesting. 
Okay. So I might replace uh, some of these melon plants that I have here with pumpkin just so I get a little bit more even of a balance. But for now, I'd rather have food than pumpkins. So I'm just going to make the rails and set them up here so that uh, this farm is a lot faster and more automated. So after I do that, I will be back to show it off. Alright, so I just barely finished up laying down all the tracks. Uh, I haven't even tested it yet, so it might not work very well. But we're going to give it a shot. Uh-oh. How did those rails... I think it's a new bug. The rails got stuck on the block update. Yeah, clears them. So, I'll have to find a way around that. There's got to be a way to make those blocks update, so that hopefully won't be too difficult. But you can see, I don't think I missed anything. Okay, I missed one melon there. Yeah, that's it. One melon. It is an acceptable margin of error. So, that is the melon and pumpkin farm. There's no great view of it, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Okay, I just checked episode length, and, uh, well, we are definitely, definitely over. So, I said I'd try to avoid that in the future, and not doing a very good job of it. I apologize. So I'm going to end the episode here. I'll try and fix that off camera. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If there's you know, anything you want me to build or something like that, let me know. I'll read any messages I've, I get. I'm not overloaded yet. I'll let you guys know if that ever happens. But um, for now, I love to hear from you guys. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.